So you're buying a Tesla. Now what? Well, you want to do home charging, of course. Well, every Tesla comes with a UMC, a universal mobile connector. What that really is, is not a charger because the charger's in the car. It's really an adapter that takes your household current and it plugs it into the car and it allows your car to charge. The fastest charge is to use a 240 volt outlet, which you probably don't have in your garage. So you've probably done some research and you've seen you want to put in a NEMA 1450 outlet. Well, there's choices to make here. These are five different NEMA 1450 outlets that are available on Amazon, ranging in prices from $8 to $68. What's the difference? I'm going to tell you about them coming up. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud. And if you're buying an electric car, you're going to want to plug it in. And the cheapest or at least I should say the most economical way to charge your car at home is going to be to use the charger or the UMC that comes with it. You just need to install a 240 volt outlet. Now I'm not going to get into how you install them here, but in this video we're going to talk about the different options. Tesla's really pretty good about giving you information about how to install an outlet for charging. This is the document that's about the NEMA 1450 plug. So this is a popular plug. There's seven different actually eight different options that you can plug into the UMC. Depending upon which one you plug in determines how fast it can actually charge your car. I'll put a link to it down in the video description so you can you can see what it says. But um, basically it says for the Model 3 you can get 30 miles per hour of charge rate. For the Model S it's 23 and for the Model X it's 20. And I assume the Model Y is going to be the same as the Model 3. 30 miles an hour there too. It doesn't go into any specific brands or any recommendations like that. It just simply says that you need a 50 amp circuit breaker and you need to use six gauge wire. And specifically for these outlets, you're gonna use six three wire. That means there's three conductors within the wire. But that's a separate video I'll get into an installation. Okay, we're gonna be taking these in price order. So the first up is the Leviton, which I bought for $7.83. It is a product of Mexico. The wire type is ALCU, which means it can support aluminum wire as well as copper. The wire size is rated at number 10 to number 4. Now remember, with wire gauge, the uh, smaller number is the larger, the thicker wire. So 10 is actually smaller than number 4. Go figure. But that's the way it is. The wire entry on this one is from the back. It's the only one that comes in from the back. And the attachment with the wires is screw down. You'll see the screws there actually clamp down on the wires. The contacts are steel. Taking a closer look at them, you can see they're silver. But you can also see they're kind of half contacts. They don't go the entire length of the opening for each one of those prongs. And this is the only one that is like that. The rest of them, they're full on both sides. The depth of the unit is shallow. It's the most shallow. It's 40 millimeters, which is, like I said, much better than all the others. But that is because the wires come out the back. You still need to have a lot of room behind it. So you need a deep box for this type of outlet. The weight on this came out to be 4.4 ounces. And the rating on Amazon is 4.7 stars with 136 reviews. A lot of the reviewers say don't use this with an EV. It's meant for appliances. And that a $300 dryer is very different than a $50,000 luxury electric vehicle. So <laughs> that is the Leviton. Next up is the Enerlites. This one I bought for $10.19. The country of origin is China. It supports copper wire only. And the wire size on the device, it says it is for number eight wiring. However, in the listing, it says number eight up to number four. The wire entry comes into the bottom. The attachment is by screws. The contacts are brass. You can see they're yellow. The depth of the device is 55 millimeters, which is much thicker than the Leviton, but that's okay because the wires come in from the bottom. The weight is 5.4 ounces, so it's a little bit heavier than the Leviton. And the rating on Amazon is 4.8 stars with 190 reviews. I do want to note that this seems to be very popular with a lot of Tesla owners, judging from the reviews. It had a lot of great 
five-star ratings from Tesla owners that said it works fine with the UMC. Next up is the Eaton. I paid $10.49 for it. It is made in Mexico and says that it supports ALCU wiring. The wire size is number 10 to number 4. The wire entry on this one, because it is a box unto itself, you can either attach it to the wall and bring the wire in from the back, or you can bring the wire in from the bottom. The wires are attached to the terminals with screws that clamp down on the wires. The contacts, as you can see, are steel. The depth of this is 54 millimeters deep. The weight comes in at the highest, it's 10.1 ounces, but that's understandable because it's so much bigger and it doesn't require a box. The Amazon rating is 4.7 stars with 72 reviews. The only downside to the Eaton is that Tesla asks for the ground prong to be up. You'd actually have to hang this upside down to use it with a Tesla UMC. The next one up is Awking. This one I paid $15.99 for. It didn't say the country of origin anywhere on it, but the name on the front is Xiangda, which is an electronics company out of China. So I'm assuming they're the ones that make this, and somebody just slapped their own brand name, Auking, on it, and uh, it's made in China. This says that it's good for copper wiring only. The wire size is number 10 to number 4. The wire entry comes in from the bottom. The attachment is with screws. The contacts are brass. The depth is 53 millimeters. The weight is 5.7 ounces. And and this has 4.6 stars on Amazon with 62 reviews. And the last but not least is the most expensive, which is the Hubble at $68.88. That's what I paid for it. This is the only one out of this bunch that is made in the US. It is good for ALCU wiring. It goes for number 10 to number four. The wire entry is from the bottom. It's the only one on this list that actually clamps the wires without turning a screw against them. The contacts are brass. The depth is 63 millimeters. Other than the Eaton, the weight is the heaviest at nine ounces, which is more than double the Leviton. The Amazon rating is 4.4 stars with only 26 reviews. I was really surprised by the low 4.4 rating, which is the lowest out of the group. And there's only 26 reviews. The rating itself, because of the fact that there's so few reviews, you get one bad review and it really skews the results. And that's the case here too. There was one one-star review and that was for a shipment issue. So it really didn't have anything to do with the product quality itself. But still, it's surprising that there were only 26 reviews, since this actually is a product that was recommended by Tesla. By name, it was in an earlier version of this NEMA 1450 guide. They took it out now, and they just tell you to use an industrial strength outlet. But in the original version of this, they actually did call out the Hubble by name. So in summary, now we've looked at five of them. I'm going to count the Eaton out because you really can't it wouldn't look right to put that one upside down. So I'm going to take that one off the table. So then you're left with basically one bargain basement, which is the Leviton. And trust me, I love Leviton devices. I use them in my own house, but I don't think I would use it for this purpose. I just don't get a good feeling for it. It's not heavy enough. It's I don't want 50 amps going through that device every night while I'm sleeping. Now the Enerlites is a bargain at $10.19 and it's got the highest number of reviews and the highest rating of the bunch. So that one is a really strong contender if you are pressed for cash. But how are you gonna use your UMC? Are you going to just plug it in and leave it there? Or are you gonna unplug it with and take it with you every time you use your car? Do you have two UMCs and you're just leaving one in the garage? Well, if you are, you might consider a cheaper outlet and just leave it plugged in. But if you are gonna be unplugging it quite a bit, I don't know, $70 for peace of mind is not a bad thing. Although you could replace this one nine times, even if it fails nine times for the cost of this one but would you really want to and when it fails what does that mean but this is definitely the top of the line $68 and the way I look at it is this if you're spending $50,000 on an electric car and you're gonna be charging it every night with 50 amps I think you want the peace of mind of having a good outlet that it's plugged into I'll put links to every one of these outlets in the video description below. You can go to Amazon, check them all out for yourself, read the reviews, make your own decision. But I got to tell you, for the money, I don't think this is bad. And if I was getting a Tesla, 
this is the one I would put in. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Welcome home. Be sure to subscribe and watch our new series, The Living Flip. Ooh. Look. That has inch and a quarter. It's a little one. That's a little one.